Unit 5, Lesson 11. Dividing numbers that result in decimals. Number 1. Use long division to show that the fraction and decimal in each pair are equal. A. 3 fourths and 75 hundredths. 3 fourths is the same as 3 divided by 4. So the question is, how many times does 4 go into 3? Since 4 is greater than 3, it's not going to go in all the way and the answer is going to be a decimal. I started by putting that yellow zero above the 3 since 4 does not go into 3. Then I marked the decimal point and I put a yellow zero in the tenths place next to the 3 and I asked, how many times does 4 go into 30? And above that yellow zero in the tenths place I put a 7. 7 times 4 equals 28 and 30 minus 28 gives a remainder of 2 in the tenths place. And then I put another yellow zero in the ones place and I brought that zero down next to the two to make 20 hundredths. How many times does four go into 20? Five. Five times four is 20 and 20 minus 20 gives a remainder of zero. So three divided by four is 75 hundredths. B. Three fiftieths and six hundredths. 3 fiftieths is the same as 3 divided by 50. And since 50 is too large to go into 3, I put a 0 in the 1's place above the 3. Then I put the decimal point in. And 50 is also too large to go into 30. So I put another 0 in on the top in the tenths place. Then I asked, how many times does 50 go into 300? 50 goes into 300 six times. So I put the 6 above the 0 in the hundredths place. And 6 times 50 equals 300. So 300 minus 300 equals 0. 3 divided by 50, or 3 fiftieths, equals 6 hundredths. C. 7 twenty-fifths and 28 hundredths. 7 twenty-fifths means 7 divided by 25. And since 25 is too large to go into 7, I put a 0 in the 1's place and put in the decimal. Then I asked, how many times does 25 go into 70? And 25 goes into 70 twice. 2 times 25 equals 50. And 70 minus 50 gives a remainder of 20. And I bring down a 0. And I ask, how many times does 25 go into 200? 25 goes into 200 8 times. So 8 times 25 is 200. 200 minus 200 gives a remainder of 0. So 7 divided by 25 equals 28 hundredths. Or 7 25ths equals 28 hundredths. Number 2. My walked 1 eighth of a 30 mile walking trail. How many miles did my walk? Explain or show your reasoning. 1 eighth of 30 is the same as 1 eighth times 30 or 1 over 8 times 30 over 1, which equals 30 eighths, or 30 divided by 8. How many times does 8 go into 3? 0. How many times does 8 go into 30? 3 times. So above the 1's place, we put a 3. 3 times 8 equals 24. 30 minus 24 equals 6. And then we put the decimal point in, and we bring down a 0 next to the 6. How many times does 8 go into 60? 7 times. 7 times 8 is 56. 60 minus 56 gives a remainder of 4, and we bring down the 0 in the hundredths place. How many times does 8 go into 40? 5 times. So we put the 5 on the top above the hundredths place. 5 times 8 equals 40. 40 minus 40 equals 0. So 30 divided by 8, or 30 eighths, equals 3 and 75 hundredths. So my walked one eighth of a 30 mile walking trail, which turns out to be 3 and 75 hundredths miles. Number three, use long division to find each quotient. Write your answer as a decimal. A, 99 divided by 12. How many times does 12 go into 99? Eight times. Eight times 12 equals 96, and the difference is three. Make sure you put your decimal in and bring down the zero in the tenths place. How many times does 12 go into 30? Twice. So 2 times 12 is 24, and the difference is 6. And again, bring down the zero, this time in the hundredths place. 
How many times does 12 go into 60? Five times. Five times 12 is 60, so 60 minus 60 gives a remainder of zero. So 99 divided by 12 equals 8 and 25 hundredths. B. 216 divided by 5. How many times does 5 go into 21? Goes in 4 times. 4 times 5 is 20. 21 minus 20 is 1. I bring down the 6 in the 1's place. How many times does 5 go into 16? 3 times. So I put the 3 in the 1's place at the top. 3 times 5 is 15. 16 minus 15 is 1. I make sure I put in my decimal point, and I bring down the zero in the tenths place. How many times does five go into 10? It goes in twice, so I put the two up above in the tenths place. Two times five is 10, and 10 minus 10 gives a remainder of zero. So 216 divided by five is 43 and two tenths. C. 1,988 divided by 8. How many times does 8 go into 19? That's twice, so above the 9 I put a 2 in the hundreds place. 2 times 8 is 16, and the difference is 3. I bring down the 8 that's in the tenths column. How many times does 8 go into 38? 4 times. 4 times 8 is 32, and the difference is 6. Then I bring down the 8 that's in the ones column. How many times does 8 go into 68? And it goes into 68 eight times. 8 times 8 is 64, and the difference is 4. I make sure I put my decimal point in, and I bring down the 0 in the tenths place. How many times does 8 go into 40? It goes in 5 times. So up above the tenths place, I put a 5. 5 times 8 is 40, and the difference is 0. So 1,988 divided by 8 is... 248 and 5 tenths. Number 4. To find the decimal of 9 twenty-fifths, Tyler reasoned that 9 twenty-fifths is equivalent to 18 fiftieths and to 36 hundredths. So the decimal of 9 twenty-fifths is 36 hundredths. A. Use long division to show that Tyler is correct. 9 divided by 25. How many times does 25 go into 9? Well, it goes in 0 times. So above the 9 in the 1's place, I put a 0. Then I put in my decimal point, And to the right of the 9 in the tenths column, I put a 0. And I ask, how many times does 25 go into 90? It goes in 3 times. So in the tenths column up above, I put in a 3. 3 times 25 equals 75. And the difference is 15. Then I bring down a zero in the hundredths column, and I ask how many times does 25 go into 150? It goes in six times. So up on top, in the hundredths column, I put a six. Six times 25 equals 150, and the difference is zero. So nine divided by 25, or nine twenty-fifths, equals 36 hundredths. B. Is the decimal of 18 fiftieths also 36 hundredths? Use long division to support your answer. 18 divided by 50. How many times does 50 go into 18? Zero times. So in the ones column above the eight, put a zero. Be sure to put your decimal point and ask how many times does 50 go into 180? And that would be three times. So in the tenths place, put the three. Three times 50 is 150 and the difference is 30. Bring down a zero in the hundredths place and ask how many times does 50 go into 300? That would be six times. So at the top in the hundredths place, put a six. Six times 50 is 300 and the difference is zero. So 18 divided by 50 or 18 fiftieths is 36 hundredths. Number five. Complete the calculations so that each shows the correct difference. A. 5 minus what number equals 4 and 329 thousandths? I subtracted 4 and 329 thousandths from 5 to figure out what the missing number would be. B. 
B. 1 minus what number equals 15 thousandths? I subtracted 15 thousandths from 1 to figure out what the missing number would be. C. 1 minus what number equals 863 thousandths? I subtracted 863 thousandths from 1 to figure out what the missing number would be. Number 6. Use the equation 124 times 15 equals 1860 and what you know about fractions, decimals, and place value to explain how to place the decimal point when you compute 1 and 24 hundredths times 15 hundredths. I notice that they're using the same digits. It's the location of the decimal point that's different. 124 times 15 equals 1860 and 1 and 24 hundredths times 15 hundredths equals 1860 ten thousandths. The digits are the same, it's the placement of the decimal that is different. And since 1 and 24 hundredths is 100 times smaller than 124, and 15 hundredths is 100 times smaller than 15, then I know that 100 times 100 equals 10,000. So I know that the answer is going to have the decimal place four places to the left, making it 10,000 times smaller than 1,860. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 5, Lesson 11, Dividing Numbers That Result in Decimals. Music